there are plenty of examples of adapter design pattern. This is very widely used across all kind of devices, whether a small embedded device or the big or bigger devices or enterprise uh, uh, applications. So uh, to start uh, the understanding of adapter design pattern, I'll give you one uh, practical example, okay? And then I'll give you a problem statement which we will be solving through our programming. This is only for concepts, so we are not going to write whole code, but we will write only the uh, adapter design pattern wrapper, okay? In some uh, very minimal code, uh, which will explain what is actually a design adapter design pattern is. So the pro the the story is like this. Now uh, there is a there is a company which makes speaker okay uh, music devices. So uh, in in this their music device or speaker device, they have one tiny display. So there is a version one of this uh, device in which they have a speaker and there is a small tiny display. Okay, there is a tiny display. Uh, which which gives the information of uh, the song. So which song is being played? What is it? What is the uh, title and uh, the 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 singer name and all? So um, those information are displayed in this that small tiny display. Now this is a version one where the speaker has uh, a speaker uh, or the music device has display uh, display can. Uh, as part of the speaker now this same company comes with a new model okay no new model of the speaker uh, they call it a smart speaker okay or iot speaker um, so in that speaker what they do uh, they have similar uh, exactly same uh, features but the difference is they uh, they made the display as wireless wireless display okay now uh, you can put that speaker anywhere in your house and you can um, put that uh, display uh, any other place according to your convenience so that you can see uh, the song information okay uh, this is only for a display okay uh, so uh, they had in, in version one they had a speaker with a display attached in version two they have a, a speaker but the display is wireless now uh, the this company uh, the high level uh, I mean, uh, the marketing person uh, gives this problem statement to the the software architect suppose i am designing the the architecture of uh, of this uh, new speaker software okay and uh, everything remains same because speaker uh, inside embedded board is same then the speaker are also same but only thing is display is no, no more there and the display is uh, uh, display is uh, is uh, wireless now. So the display is no more physically connected uh, as part of the speaker module, right? So uh, now the, the problem statement comes to me and says that okay, now do the same thing, and but display this uh, song information in this wireless display, okay? But now this time what they did is they 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 got a vendor, okay, display vendor, or maybe uh, the other team. Which builds this uh, wireless uh, display? Okay, uh, they they actually gives us small library. Okay, they give us a small library and tells okay if uh, which is called SDK in usual term. So they give us SDK or you can say library, and they say that okay if you are uh, calling this these APIs and passing this many informations, okay, and uh, then uh, those information will be. Uh, wirelessly coming to uh, the display module obviously there is there are certain configuration network configuration and all and uh, how to track which display to there may be multiple displays so which display to uh, which display which screen to uh, to display on so those thing anyways those are separate thing but here the problem statement uh, the, the the design uh, the design requirement is only that uh, you use this as decay okay and uh, give uh, call this api and give this message to this api and those will be displayed in our uh, speaker you don't have to worry about how and how or so that's uh, that's up to us now this thing uh, this this clear statement comes to me i i ask them uh, okay give me that library and i'll be starting implementing it now um, i'm i'm an architect here 
and I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. I'm not going to write, rewrite whole code which we had written previously for the first version uh, just to uh, to uh, to make this display wireless. So instead of that, I tried a new um, I tried to extend uh, the implementation. Okay, what I did is I use an adapter uh, pattern. Okay, so uh, whatever APIs earlier I was calling, I already know that which API we are calling to uh, to display message information uh, into the uh, connected uh, screen. Now I will call the same API. I will not do any, I will not touch at all any part of the software, uh, but I will create one adapter, adapter plugin, okay, adapter um, implementation, okay, uh, which will basically uh, when whenever we call the display, okay, in usual APIs in version one, so it will call basically those APIs will come to this adapter. Adapter will internally call this uh, SDK level of the wireless uh, display.
So this is the the this is part of the implementation. So let's suppose so all these things will not we will not be writing all this code, right? This will be coming from the uh, display uh, vendor or the display team. So they have given us library which will contain all these implementations. We have not written anything out of it. This is just for um, for the day um, for the for showing up how to use adapter design pattern here. So these things will come to us, and these things uh, local display we had already implemented before. So uh, so local local display we we were calling these APIs from the application, okay, and uh, from the application using certain libraries. And now um, this local display uh, is no more going to call the the old library which is made which is which was made for the uh, connected display so which is connected physically to the to the build board now we are going to uh, call this uh, instead of this library we are going to use same apis but we instead of calling uh, uh, the local library uh, apis from the local library we are going to call from the remote library and for that we have written this adapter this is actual solution we have solution we had we have provided now okay um, so now to test this what we will do is here um, we'll make like uh, um, we'll be using smart pointer here okay so let's use smart pointer to refer us to what is that i'm going to show you here so hash include smart pointer is part of memory memory and this format it now come back to this place and let's use a strong pointer okay this is a display uh, not everyone is going to hold this display uh, display library okay uh, object so let's use a strong pointer str str or what is that um, sorry this will be um, uh, we are going to use a unique pointer okay unique pointer we have different pointers smart pointer like uh, shared pointer unique pointer we had auto pointer also before um, as a smart pointer but few few of these those APIs are deprecated so this is available since uh, C++ level library so we uh, are going to use it so we cannot use it 98 C++ 98 where you have to use C++ 11 or the the next versions okay so unique pointer now what uh, what is the type first here uh, so what what is the template sorry what is the template here so template is uh, this one remote display so so we not this display uh, we are going to local display this is the one this is the this is the um this is the interface right this is a local interface which we are going to call so this let's have with this name okay and let, let's name it as uh, display pointer okay display ptr and uh, display pointer and uh, let's uh, initialize it new uh, adapter display adapter okay and uh, once we have this display pointer is already initialized we can call which one we can call uh, message okay and in message we are going to uh, call uh, with color so color will be um, uh, we'll use display pointer and color will be let's say red and uh, you you can see this one so th this is the one implementation okay message this thing or we, we have to see this one only so this 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 is the uh, signature of this uh, api so we have only one api okay and we pass the color uh, which color we want to print in and what is the message okay and that that message will be printed in that color in that screen displayed in that screen okay um all right so that's how it is now what we will do uh, we will be calling the same one here um so um so this thing we can if we are using the different name basically then we can we can um, uh, we can uh, define a macro for this particular uh, call and then that then that is done 
so it is all done uh, so you don't have to do any code change either part of application or any of the library we just have an after implementation and uh, we have we will create a macro for this particular api and we are done so adapter implementation we have done now we are going to test that in our local uh, main program and uh, we will give that this this uh, this implementation to the and uh, to the team okay and we will say okay we are done now you are going to integrate whole thing i'll give it to developer developer will will uh, will uh, have uh, any kind of um, further implementation you want to do and then all integration all right so here message will be let's say uh, let's say song name is uh, song name is uh, The message is called stone stone all right so this will be in red okay and uh, to test this we'll run this program and we'll see the output so cold stone red okay that means this api is being called what is that so basically what happened here is um sorry so it's basically this uh, the remote remote display API is already called because we are we are printing this one but we called this API right so local display and the message we call this one okay now we have reference to local I uh, adapt we have created instance of uh, uh, display adapter okay and we have a template unique pointer for this local uh, display and once we call this message uh, we, we, the adapter will ultimately call the remote display implementation okay we'll do same thing for we'll test with other things also like um, we'll test with all of this so we'll say uh, red blue uh, for other thing like uh, green yellow we'll test all this okay so let's make it yellow and make, let's make it green okay and now to this code okay now what we expect we expect that this this will be in sequence like uh, cold stone maybe let's make it uh, uh, some other name like um, like uh, golden songs okay and this make it uh, backstreet boys boys and let's make this one Lynn Walker okay so now Lynn Walker should be in green and all this right so make let's run this one we got red blue yellow green so that's what our implementation was red blue yellow green so there we have already tested and that's what this adapter pattern is now let's uh, see this adapter pattern what we have done so we basically um, got this library from uh, the other team okay now we uh, we put our old implementation uh, from application all the api calls here with respect to this one now what we did we wrote a new adapter uh, adapter here and which will make uh, things work for us so that's it so this thing